I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Who was John Wycliffe? Well, John Wycliffe is basically one of the, quote, heroes of the faith. Now, a couple of interesting anecdotes about John Wycliffe, and then we're going to talk about who he truly was. Number one, uh, his name, his last name in particular, academically can be spelled and has been spelled 72 different ways. That's right. So when you see the name Wycliffe, oftentimes it's spelled a multitude of different ways, but we're all talking about the same guy. And that's an individual who predates the Reformation, who was one of the first individuals to translate the scriptures into the English language. And because he did so, he created a very monstrous enemy known as the corrupt Roman Catholic Church of the pre-Reformation days. They despised, they hated John Wycliffe because once the scriptures were put into the hands of the people where they had access to it, they saw that at that time the Pope, the cardinals, the priests, they were lying to them about indulgences and purgatory and a host of these other issues. And so what did they do with John Wycliffe? Well, they do what they do to all heretics. They burned him. But that wasn't enough. They actually burned him, put him in the ground, and then years later got so mad at him again, they exhumed his body and they burned it a second time. He's probably one of the most despised characters of humanity's existence by what we know as the corrupt Roman Catholic Church because he dared, please note my gift of sarcasm, he dared take the word of God and put it into the language of the everyday person where they could read and have a personal relationship with God himself and not go through a pope, cardinal, and or priest. And so John Wycliffe, was a Bible translator, hence Wycliffe Bible Translators that we still have this day, that organization. But more than that, he was really what, one of the, what we call the pre-reformers, the birth pains of the Reformation. He began uh, with his translation to kind of put cracks in the dam of the corruption that was taking place that eventually Luther, Calvin, Zwingli, and others would come and burst it wide open. So a man whose name can be spelled 72 different ways, a man who was actually burned for his faith twice, for one real reason, he dared take the scriptures and put them in the English language. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.